And it gives me a great honor to introduce this great man that is coming before us, who I've watched him throughout these last few days, knowing that he has all types of emotions going on in his heart and in his mind. But yet he stood as our leader, speaking and giving directions and updates. And he has been there throughout the course of the week and in the back. We made a little fun by saying it was one of the first times we saw him without a suit on. And he was there on the streets each and every day, making sure that he provided the leadership that he has provided throughout the years. And tonight, I want you to stand and receive our mayor, Mayor Buddy Dyer. Okay, you almost left me speechless, <laughs> but you didn't. <laughs> We've come to the end of a, another day, a day where we are living in a new world, a world where Orlando is now the site of the deadliest shooting in American history, another day where our community is in pain, another day where we mourn the loss of loved ones. Another day filled with anger and sadness. Another day where our residents are walking around in the days looking in the eyes of each other and asking, why? And despite all the pain that this community is feeling, despite the questions of impossible answers, I am uplifted by the fact that we are ending another difficult day in just this fashion, together united as one Orlando. Sharing in our grief, sharing our love for one another, and sharing in our support for the victims of this crime and their families. We will not be defined by the hate-filled, by the act of a hate-filled killer. We will be defined by our love and our compassion and our unity. To the families and friends of the victims, I said it last night and I'll continue to say it every day, as will every person in this church, your city is with you and will continue to be with you as you contend with this unimaginable tragedy. We are in the process of putting together an Orlando Family Assistance Center that will be staged at Camping World Stadium and will open tomorrow. Our goal is to quickly set up a place where you can access any and every kind of assistance you might need. Counseling, help with funeral arrangements, lodging, travel for your loved ones, a place to mourn with families of other victims, a place to go where, when you just don't feel like being alone. Everything in one place, everything to help with the families because that's what we do for those we share our city with. And as for tonight's event, I thank all of the organizing pastors. I want to thank our faith-based leaders for their help in bringing our city together in a time of need. We're all struggling with the same questions. Why did this happen? Why did it happen in our city? How could it happen in our city? How do we possibly get through this? And these are difficult questions in times like this. And it's in our places of worship that we often gather to ask those questions in one voice and be together like we are tonight and to try to fight back against the darkness that hangs over our city. I certainly don't have the answers, but I do know one thing. We will get through this and we'll be stronger because of it. We are taught in places of worship that light shines in the darkness and that darkness can never extinguish it. We will get through this because in our city's darkest hour, 
our city's very darkest hour, our residents have shown that they are that light. We saw that light in the courage of the first responders running into harm's way to save lives. We saw that light in those who carried victims to the hospital and the doctors who worked tirelessly to save the victims. We saw that light in people lining up for hours to give blood and the outpouring of support from our Central Florida community. And we've seen that light from our children who have so many questions but primarily want to know what can we do to help. And we literally saw the light last night as our residents lit up the lawn in front of the Dr. Phillips Center with candles and prayer and love. And tonight, I continue to see the light in each and every one of you that have joined us in this room. And there's some painful irony in the fact that our city, so closely associated with joy and love, known the world over, for joy and love, now has to wear the title of site of the worst mass shooting in American history. But we cannot change what happened. We cannot walk away from it, but we can show those who would seek to harm us and the world that joy and love conquer violence and hate. <laughs> that light conquers dark, Hate may have visited our community, and it's taken the lives of innocent people. It has shaken us to our core and broken our hearts. But hate will not define us. Hate will not defeat us, because we are one Orlando United. God bless the victims and their families. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless our city. Thank you.